All right, we're back from space. Oh, oh, so cold. <laughs> fun trip, though. What's even more fun is catching the train to work. And destroying it for leaving you behind. I mean, what else would you do? Not true. Those damn A trains. So we unlocked the Sega Falcon. But, uh, it only has ground missiles. <laughs> so we're never going to touch that. This one actually took, like, ages for me to get. I think it's close to 30, 35 minutes for me to get a proper run through this. Mainly because I just couldn't destroy the train. You can only destroy it with your machine gun, and it was the only time where I couldn't get a grip on the... on, on hitting something with a machine gun. But it was mainly because of um, how close to the ground you have to get. I think I have to destroy four of these uh, F-32s. F F and the other two, if you like get away from them quickly enough, they basically just can't, either don't even follow you or can't really catch up to you. Look, Loon, you can avoid missiles. It's easy. Just turn. <laughs> but yeah, you have to juggle, like, not crashing into the ground, avoiding the occasional missile, which is not a problem, and also still blowing up the train in time. Yeah, I got really lucky. It, uh, so go on. What's the time limit on this one? Uh, it's like four-ish minutes, I think. There's a giant building uh, at the end of this track that pretty much signifies the end of the mission. And I got really lucky and got most of the cars really quickly. Yeah, I think I've only got two left now. But there's also this tunnel coming up that locks up about 40-45 seconds of time in the mission because you can't hit it ah boy and it's just keeps mission keeps going might as well distract yourself by shooting more of these down then yeah, target practice. What else are you gonna do? Some of those just turning away from the target. Seems like it. Oh, and as if it wasn't obvious, if we blow up any of the civilian cars, uh, it's an instant either D or C rank. to say that the briefing made us sound like just these guys got kidnapped kill them I think was that was that what it said I couldn't remember if it was saying that someone got kidnapped or if it was destroyed yeah, kidnapped and uh, told you to destroy the train and the researchers I think oh cool kind of reminded me of like uh, one of those missions from a Air Force Delta where like uh, there's this air base that you would have, your group had apparently been working from before that got took taken over by the enemy. So you just go in and blow the whole thing up. Yep. And then there's like a mention in the ending about like a former comrades you had to kill or some or something or other like that. It's like, did they just 
keep working with the bad guys once they got kidnapped. No attempted escape. No rescue attempt on our end. I don't think I'm the asshole here. If you're getting paid, you do what you you do what you can do. Yeah. Still, I'm, they're trying to make me feel like the asshole. I'm not the asshole here. There's only so much one plane with about a hundred missiles could do. You're right, but once we get 200 missiles, we'll be able to do a lot more. <laughs> right there, that complex. If the train reaches that, we lose. I like the pattern of the... of your flight path. Ooh, that's a good Hello. plane. Like, an actually good plane, for once. It's still good in this game. But we're not going to use it just yet, because this is the mission that you specifically wanted to commentate. <laughs> so this is like one of the other four missions that everyone who's familiar with Ace Combat uh, knows about Ace Combat 3. Tiny and a mate bomb supplied by N. Yeah, and the character from Pokemon. <laughs> Drop these bombs and release the Pokemon. No oh, way. They need to be free. Before they get eaten by the nanobites. So since this is literally the only mission in the entire game that is purely ground-based, we're not going to be taking the F-22. Also, you only get one weapon in this mission. So that's the other reason why, instead of the F-22, we're going to finally take the Sega Falcon. And I think in the Japanese version, it actually also gets the spread bomb. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's worth using in other missions. Oh, what's this thing that we're flying? Oh, Jesus! The virus is eating our plane. I remember mentioning that I played this uh, emulated and uh, I had to change my settings for this mission because the effect just completely made the screen black. I wasn't able to see. I mean, that seems like what a... that feels more appropriate for what a, a virus would do. It would mess with your like, guidance systems. As yeah. opposed to just turning on the Majora's Mask blur filter. <laughs> like, aside from the weapon choice, the Sega Falcon is actually a really solid plane. It's nicely mobile. Um, I don't know what it's damage tolerance is, but yeah, it's it's good. You just can't use anything with it. A lot of, like, guides that I was checking up on while I was doing this kept saying that you should, like, fly from above to get a good angle on the nanobytes, and I'm like, fuck that. It seemed way easier to just do that. It's like, it, I don't know what the issue is. It's just, it's basically an unguided uh, bomb. And who has trouble shooting those? Yeah, I know, right? Just makes me wish that you got the unguided bomb in, uh, like, the regular game. In the export version, you don't get it until you beat the whole game. For no reason. Yeah, this is like the, probably the weirdest mission in the game, but it's so cool.
Yeah. Bit wider radius than I thought. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure once you destroy the nanobytes in the like that particular area, you don't you can't be affected by the virus from those structures. Pretty sure. But I never bothered to go uh, check. I never did either. What I remember. Also feels like uh, this bomb has just a little bit less radius than would be useful all of the time. Yeah, I'm, no I'm noticing that. I think I got three on that one. As soon as you mention it, start getting yeah. two or three each one. Yeah. Like this last batch I had the best luck with. Wasn't this mission a really important, like, big plot one in the Japanese version? Yeah, I still remember the uh, cutscene where, like, uh, Reyna starts getting infected by those. Oh, right. Because the plane getting uh, hacked by a virus means that you literally die. Unless you're an important character, but, you know, you know how these things work. Or you don't have an actual name. Good, investigate that new work. <laughs> Just because they gave us the means to actually destroy those nanobytes doesn't mean they should get off the hook. Oh, look what plane we got. Huh, what do you know? Kind of earlier than expected. Not going to be using it in this mission, though. Oh, I can't believe General Resource would be attacking someone. They seem, like, so chill. So this is the mission, I'm fairly certain, that you don't pilot the Blackbird, you take one of the... You take a different, like, Newcom-specific plane that you don't get in this version of the game. I'm thinking this might be, like, uh, related to that one uh, mission from UPO route. Like, you have the, uh, Su-37s. Um... No, it's like, like, it... I'm pretty sure it's like these two Blackbird missions are the sort of sides of the same coin because it's the same basic mission structure but found in two of the different factions. And I actually do way better on this one, which is good because you have way less time to get the A rank. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it's so little time that if you miss once or definitely twice, then you pretty much have to restart. But you also don't have to get any optional targets, so it's much simpler. Yeah, that's good news. Nope. <laughs> it helps to pick your battles. I'll just you wait. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna get you. Okay, I made it. <laughs> no, no, he's going the other way. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna turn this way. Oh god. A little blackbird that could. You can do it. I believe in you. Especially if you keep shooting missiles at it. Each missile saying that we believe in them too, and right until they hit and explode. I believe in you! <laughs> but yeah, that mission is actually super quick. 
when if you get the A rank. Bang. <laughs> okay, now I'm glad we'll never have to fly that thing again. Except for this low altitude mission with the Blackbird. Oh my god. Oh no. This is a horrible idea. <laughs>